Okay, so what we're going to be talking about today are penile gland tumors. So first off, what does the penile gland do? Well, the penile gland, it produces something called, the penile gland produces something called melatonin. And what melatonin does is it helps you go to sleep. So it produces melatonin, which helps you sleep. Which helps you sleep. So where is the penile gland located? So once again, we're looking at the brain here. This is basically my corpus callosum here. Corpus callosum connects one side of the brain to the other. And in this area, we're gonna have the thalamus and the epithalamus and the um, hypothalamus. Okay, this is our pituitary gland right here, and this would be the pond. So this is on someone who's looking that way. So the penile gland is gonna be located basically in the epithalamus. So to give you an idea, we're gonna put it somewhere right back here, and we'll say this is our penile gland. Oops, let me go up like this, and that's my penile gland. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you, because when we dissect, we actually look at the penile gland. It's actually very, very easy to see on dissection. So imagine that you have the brain, okay, and the brain is in two halves. If you notice here, this, you're looking at only one half. So imagine the brain's like this, I go like this. This is what you're looking at now. Let's put it back together, and then I'm gonna go like this, and let's open it up, and when you open it up, you would be able to see the penile gland in there. So I'm gonna show you a picture of this right now. So if we look right here, what you're looking at, these here, these are called your inferior colliculi down here, and this is the back of the brain again. These are called superior colliculi. These help you see. Superior colliculi help you see, and then this is your penile gland that's right here. So this is what's responsible for you sleeping. Okay, this big gland right here is the penile gland, and it's actually very easy to see when you're doing brain dissection. So there's your penile gland. And so once again, so we're back here. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna to try to draw what we were just looking at. So we had our penile gland, right? This is what we just looked at on the picture, the penile gland. And then underneath the penile gland, like you saw, we had two, what we call superior colliculi. And these are gonna become important in just a minute, and I'll tell you why. So colliculi. And then under the superior colliculi, you had basically, they were kind of flatter, but you had the inferior colliculi, all right? So there's our penile gland, the superior colliculi, and the inferior colliculi. Okay? So, as this tumor grows, a few things can happen. For the most part, these are benign tumors. Um, they usually can be easily treated. You can remove them with surgery. But as this grows, a few things can happen. One, as it grows, it can grow out into here. And like we saw with craniopharyngiomas, it can block the flow of cerebral spinal fluid that's in here. It can block the flow. And then once again, like we saw with cerebral spinal fluid, I mean, I'm sorry, with craniopharyngioma, we can actually start to get this fluid to come out into the brain area, which will then again cause the brain to increase in size. Now there's something a little bit different about this one is this can affect kids, but it also can affect adults, uh, usually under the age of 40. The problem with when it affects adults under the age of 40 is that the bones in the skull have already fused. So now you got the brain expanding out into the head, which can be extremely painful. Um, and again, in kids, it can cause the head to enlarge because of the fact that the brain hasn't, the skull hasn't completely fused yet. Okay, so anyways, I get my cerebral spinal fluid out into there. And so one of the symptoms of this can be hydrocephaly. Hydrocephaly, right? It's basically known as water on the brain. And in kids, it can cause an increase in head size. Okay, now in adults or in kids also, what can happen too is now we're gonna to start to press on other structures in the brain. And when you do that, you're gonna start having other different problems go on, okay? 
So here's the other thing about this too, is as you saw here, there's my pinot gland, there's my superior colliculi. What does the superior colliculi do? Okay, so what the superior colliculi does is, if you, let's say you're, you're walking somewhere, and all of a sudden you see a soccer ball or something coming at you. When you look and respond to it, the superior colliculi is what makes you respond so that you move out of the way or you catch it or you do whatever it is. It's, it's basically responsible for quick reactions to things you see. The inferior colliculi is quick reactions to things you hear. So to give an example of this inferior colliculi, what happens is let's say you're walking, everybody says you're at a baseball game or you're at a golf tournament and so everybody starts yelling four, well you know to cover up and to protect yourself. So here's the problem with the penile gland when it, we have a penile gland tumor. As this grows, it's going to start to put pressure on this superior colliculi. And when it does, it will cause vision problems. So another symptom of this is vision problems. Okay, so it's not, it's not uncommon to get vision problems from this. Um, you can also get other problems such as tiredness, right, because of the fact that we're affecting the penile gland. So sometimes people get tiredness from this. Um, you can get memory loss, maybe seizures, and things such as that. Good thing about these is, like I said, these are usually benign tumors. And what benign means is usually a piece of this doesn't break off and go to somewhere else in the body or to somewhere else in the brain. Okay? So basically, that's it. Penile gland. The penile gland is basically responsible for helping people sleep. It's located basically in the center of the brain. It can grow. It can cause hydrocephaly. Um, it can cause vision problems. It can cause tiredness. It can cause memory loss. Let me put seizures on here. It's a whole bunch of different um, situations that, that it can form. Okay? And that is basically, like I said, these can be treated. Usually they just do surgery and they remove that and you're good to go. So that's basically it for the penile gland tumor.